all right now we know how to add menus to our restaurant and now what we want is to select our menu and we should be able to add items to our menus so let's implement that so at first we are going to go to this info design widget and here on on tap i am going to add a new screen item screen so let's add item screen here in our main screen so items screen let's import material dot art and stateful widget item screen and we can write menus model item screen this dot model and we need to import menus our model class then what we can do is here we can write scaffold app i'm just going to copy the app bar from here we don't need any drawer so this is our app bar let's import global dot art and here now we can write navigator dot push context material page route item screen and we can pass widget dot model let's remove this and then here we can let's go to this page let's run this now let's this is our item screen so food panda clone everything is fine now we can here we can add items upload screen so items upload screen so in upload screens we can make a new dart file called items upload screen and then here in this screen we can actually copy everything from here and paste it and change the name to items upload screen
so here we need to change items upload screen state items upload screen state and up above here we can change this one to menus model items upload screen this dot model we need to add few more text rating controller actually two so let's add them instead of short info we can write description controller and here we can write price controller and then here instead of menus we can write add new item and let's go to this page from here so item screen and let's copy this line and paste it here you can remove this and write items upload screen model widget dot model so this is our new add new item screen we need to change few things here so let's see what we need to change default screen body is container on press take image it's okay so our take image is fine then capture image is also fine pick image is there then what we can do is we can add two more list style so let's add them so one is description and another one we have to change the controller as well so description controller and then this one we can write price or cash or something like that price change or cash uh, price is fine price change and then price controller change the name to description I mean hint text description and this one should be price And then here we need to add two more controller so description dot text is not empty and price controller dot text is not empty
and then here we can change it to UID is fine collection menus and then inside menus we want to add items so for that we can write doc let's enter hit enter and right here so doc widget dot model dot menu id dot collection items and here instead of menu id you can write item id and actually you can we can copy it again and write item id and menu item should be menu id should be widget dot model dot menu id seller uid is there menu info is there so instead of menu info you can write it short info you can write just title and for other two we can write long description this description description controller and here you can write price so we need to add in dot parts and inside that we can write price controller dot text publish date is fine status is also fine and download url is also fine and then after this we can write then value final items ref so what we want we want to store the item separately also so firebase firestore dot we can just copy this part and paste it here and instead of sellers you can write items and then items ref dot doc unique id name dot set we can just copy everything from here and paste it here and then dot then we can copy these things and paste it inside here and we need to change this one to items instead of menus and i think we are good to go so and here we need to change this one to items let's change the name here to items as well 
so our this screen is done and on our item screen we need to add body so let's see what happens capture camera album there is no photos so this is how it looks we can add just for testing purpose photo 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 and then price should be 100 so this is our item screen we need to add custom scroll view slivers sliver persistence header pinned true <coughs> delicate text widget header title my widget dot model dot menu title dot to string let's add null check here and after this string we can add items So we can actually remove the okay we can keep the switch provider doesn't matter so then let's add stream builder to see our we also need to design items design widget so let's add stream builder first firebase first dot instance dot collection sellers dot talk shared preferences dot get string uid dot collection menus dot doc widget dot model dot menu id dot collection items dot snapshot items and then we can write main builder context snapshot return snapshot if snapshot doesn't have data then we can write sliver to box adapter child center child circle circular 
progress it should be small so circular progress and after this we can add a sliver to box adapter sorry not sliver staggered Grid dot fit no sorry count builder dot count builder so we need to add few more things so cross axis count we can give it like two then scag stagger tile builder we can write see staggered tile dot fit one and then item builder we can write context index and we need to make a new model class so that is going to be items so let's add items so let's add a new model class I'm going to name it items so let's add class items we're going to add a string menu ID and let's copy this few more times so ready now change this to seller uid item id title short short info published date thumbnail url long description status and for price we can write integer or teacher price so items this dot menu ID this dot seller UID this dot item ID this dot title short info then this dot publish date this dot thumbnail url this dot long description this dot status and this dot price <coughs> and then we can write items dot from json 
map string dynamic json so menu id equals to json menu id let's copy this and paste now let's change this seller uid item id title short info publish date thumbnail url long description status and price and then you can write map string dynamic to json so final map string dynamic data equals to map string dynamic return data so data menu id equals to menu id let's copy this few more times so what we can do is we can copy this and paste here then item id then title short info publish date thumbnail url long description status and price so that's it now now here we can write items we need to import this so models item we can write items model equals to items dot from json snapshot dot data dot docs index dot data as map dynamic and after this we can return items design widget so here we can add a new stateful widget so for that add a new file items underscore design so import material dot dart stateful widget items design widget
आइटम्स मॉडल बिल्ड कंटेक्सट कंटेक्सट लेट्स इम्पोर्ट दिस एंड देन हियर वी कैन राइट items design widget model items model and context ship context and in item count we can write snapshot dot data dot docs dot length so we didn't initialize it so items design widget this dot model this dot context and here you can add a semicolon you are getting a error so timestamp is not string so we need to change that to timestamp so now we can see our item upload screen sorry item screen item design so let's try to make it so what we can do is we can add just a detector then on tap and child should be padding padding edge insets dot all around 10 child container height 280 with media query dot off dot of context dot size dot with decoration box decoration border radius border radius dot circular 10 and border border dot all color colors dot gray dot shade 300 and we can add a column let's add a child then we can add column so children clip are rect border radius border radius dot only top left radius dot circular <coughs> then and top right radius dot circular 10 then you can add image so image dot network widget dot model dot thumbnail url height 
height 200 feet box feet dot cover we can see our image and then we can add a container padding edge insets dot all around five child column cross axis alignment cross axis alignment dot start children text widget dot model dot title style text style text style font size 18 font weight font weight dot bold and here you can write text you can just copy this one and paste it again and instead of then you can write 12 and here we can write short info so cross axis alignment dot start we need to add cross axis alignment here also in our main column so cross sorry cross axis alignment dot start so instead of box fit cover we can give it like fit width doesn't matter so let's keep it like that and now our items screen is done so when we click here we want to go to items details screen so let's make an items delete items design details screen so you can add a new dart file here called item underscore detail detail underscore screen so import material dot dart stateful widget items these sorry items details screen and we can import or items or model class and make it final model items details screen this dot model so we can add text editing controller counter text editing controller equals to text editing controller 
then we can add a function called delete item here so let's write that later so for now we can add scaffold here instead of placeholder so scaffold app bar we can create a simple app bar so let's create a simple app bar here in our widget simple underscore app underscore bar so we can import material dot dart stateful widget simple app bar and you can write implements preferred size widget and instead of this we can write string title and final preferred size widget bottom simple app bar this dot bottom this dot title and then we can add actually let's make this stateless widget And after this you can write override size get preferred size bottom equals equals null then size 56 and in height you can write app bar dot preferred size dot height or else size 56 8 class upper dot preferred size dot height now we can return upper I can theme I can theme data color colors dot white background color food panda color center title to true title text food panda clone we can use small p so style textile color colors dot white so here in our In our item detail screen we can write simple app bar 
and we can pass title shared preferences dot get string name body column okay let's children in item design let's go to we can copy this and paste it here so instead of items upload screen we can write items detail screen and you can pass model widget dot model we can write title here device items then here we can add image dot network widget widget dot model dot thumbnail url dot to string then padding edge insets dot all to 10 and then we can add a child column cross axis alignment cross axis alignment dot start we can copy this and paste it here as well then add a children row children main axis main axis alignment main axis alignment dot space between then text widget dot model dot title dot to string style textile font weight font weight dot bold and font size you can give it like 20 then we can copy this text widget and paste it again and here instead of okay we can add taka currency you can change it to anything you want so instead of title we are going to add price here so everything else is fine now let's see how it looks so this is the name and this is the price and after that we can add text we can add another text here and this one should be long description and we can remove taka and we can give it font size we don't need font weight 
font size around 14 then you can add a size box of height 15 then center just a detector on tap child container decoration box decoration color food panda color with which should be after the decoration so with media query dot of context dot size dot height sorry dot width height you can give it like 50 child center child text delete this item style textile color colors dot white font size should be 15 and font weight dot bold and now we can add our delete item function here which we already meet in the starting so firebase firestore dot instance dot collection sellers dot doc shared preferences dot get string uid dot collection menus dot doc widget dot model dot menu id dot collection items dot doc item id we can pass here string item id dot delete dot then firebase firestore dot instance dot collection items dot doc item id dot delete and then we can write navigator dot push context you can just copy it from here and instead of home screen we can write splash screen and we can give a flutter toast dot show toast item deleted successfully So let's add a semicolon here and here on on tab we can write delete item widget dot model dot item id
so now if I click delete item then we should see our item has been deleted let's go to menus and then here we can see items so let's delete this one and we can see this collection has no documents let's refresh our firebase and you can see that items has been deleted and in the menus there is no items collection so now we can see that it's working fine so please subscribe to this channel and hit like to the videos